Hi, today we're gonna learn some fusion. This effect is quite complex, so let's follow this to-do list and start with number one, which is tracking the wheel. Okay, go to the fusion page, open selection tool by tapping shift and space and search for planet tracker. Click set, select hybrid point area and draw a mask around the wheel. Now track to end, click go and track to start. Let's rename our planet tracker to maybe wheel tracker. Next step, replace the alloy wheel. I've already downloaded the picture of the alloy wheel. Let's drag it to our node panel. First, we need to mask the picture of the alloy wheel. Make sure it's a circle, so width and height must equal. In our planet tracker, switch to corner pin mode. Enable grid view so it's easier to position the object. Place the picture over the background node and connect it to the foreground input of the planner tracker. Make the background transparent. Now the fun part. We need to position the picture of the alloy wheel in place of our original wheel. To imitate 3D perspective, the DVE node might be useful also. Now color grade the picture using color corrector node. And that's it. By the way, we had to replace the wheel with the 2D image, which is a perfect circle, because we wouldn't be able to make it spin. Next step, let's make the wheel spin. In the merge node, keyframe angle setting. So bring the playhead to the beginning, create a keyframe, now go to the moment where the wheel should stop turning, create a keyframe, I will set 5000, Let's move forward the playhead a bit and create another keyframe by increasing the angle parameter some more. That will give us a nice breaking effect. Don't forget about the motion blur. Also, we need to make sure the all picture disappear when the wheel stops turning. So keyframe blend parameter as well. Open spline and smooth the blend and angle keyframes. Ok, it seems right, but when the alloy spins, the tire is not moving. Let's add some blur to it to imitate the movement. So, copy the wheel tracker, switch to track mode and select the mask as an output. Make the copy of the clip node and connect it to the background of the tracker. Make another copy of the clip node and mask it with the tracker. Finally, merge it with our composition. In the Select tool, search for Directional Blur node. Increase the strength and angle. And as before, make sure the blur effect disappears when the wheel stops turning. Let's see how it looks. Ok, let's group the nodes to keep it tidy. So this is our tire blur effect. And that would be our alloy wheel group nodes. Hmm, for some reason it's not changing its name. Eh, well, bugs happen. Next, smoke and fire. As a prereq, you need to install a free plugin Proto V2. You can download it from this site, link in the description. It's free, but you can support the creator for its awesome job. If you like this tutorial, you can support me as well by smashing subscribe and writing a comment. Once downloaded, just drag and drop it to the node panel and restore the resolve. Ok, so make a copy of the planner tracker, switch to track and click go, so that the playhead is with sync with our tracker. Now draw B splines, it will be our smoke. Connect them together and draw B splines for the flames. Disable solid option, connect them together. Go back to the planner tracker and create planner transform node. It's hard to find it sometimes. We need to zoom out the node panel a lot in order to find it. Another bug, I guess. Ok, now let's place our B splines over the background nodes, connect them to the planner transform, change color and adjust the border width. Let's make some more room. Now it's time for our plugin. So in the select tool, search for Proto V2 and add it to our B splines. 
In the user tab, you can choose between some very cool ready to use presets. To make a smoke, let's choose Wisp. Enable outline solid and change color to black. Let's do the same for the flames, but this time I will select lava and adjust some setting. You can play around to your preference. Last but not least, we need to keyframe blend parameters in merge nodes so that smoke and flames appears on schedule. Let's group the nodes again and maybe a final touch with the breaks that become red. So we can reuse the bit splines created for the flames. Let's make it red and keyframe blend parameter in the merge node. Finally, we can create some more groups and rename them. So it looks simpler and more organized. And last step from our to-do list, let's add audio effect. That we can do in the edit page by adding audio file to our audio track and synchronize it with the video. That's it. Let me know if it was understandable and what's your fusion level. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.